NES is truly a timeless console. It made waves in the industry back in its heyday, and still has people playing it today with retro collecting enthusiasts and Nintendo's very own virtual console. There is a magic about the console that keeps people coming back, and even in 2016, video game developers are still making and releasing new NES games. One of the latest and greatest to do this is Star vs. from Studio Dustmop. This game is a multi-directional shooter that has a large emphasis on competitive multiplayer. There are tons of ships to use, stages to battle on, and mechanics to master. While initially it may look like a simple Asteroids clone, as soon as you get your hands on it, it will be immediately obvious how much more there is to this game. The best way to describe it is to say that it's easy to pick up, but hard to master. The basic moving and shooting are simple enough to do, but once you factor in strafing, shielding, special abilities, bombs, and quick dashes, all using the NES's traditional controller, it's clear that there's a lot going on here. Star Wars's most prominent mode is definitely its 1v1 competitive duel, but it isn't the only way to play. The other mode is a simple single player campaign. It tasks you with defeating an onslaught of enemies as you progress through several levels, each with increasing difficulty. While it would have been nice to have two player co-op, it's evident that this mode's staying power comes from its high score chasing. It may initially seem as if it's lacking in content, however, this game's four distinct ships and four unique stages has the ability to keep you and your friends busy for hours on end. Discovering specific strategies with each ship is a blast, and taking advantage of each of the stage's quirks is downright empowering. When all is said and done, this is a competitive game at its core. You have nothing to rely on other than your own skill, and when you lose, you know it wasn't due to anything other than that. Add on top of this a fantastic soundtrack, clean and great graphics, a beautiful cartridge and board from Andy Raytano, and you have one hell of an NES game. It really makes me happy to see that developers are still making newly released games for the NES, and not just mods or hacks of existing NES titles. This is a game built from the ground up, with a dedicated team that put lots of time, passion, and effort into a new experience for one of the oldest and greatest video game consoles of all time. Thanks for watching this showcase of Studio Dust Mop's NES game, Star Vs. Be sure to click the annotation on the left for this week's episode of One Minute Nintendo Review, where I review and score Star Vs. in one minute flat. And to see all of our videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Yeah.